Our final ask pertains to two different aspects of the Medicare Access and CHIP Reauthorization Act, or MACRA. Ask number one is to provide a legislative fix to allow CMS to weigh the cost resource use category up to 30% of the total performance score in 2019. And ask number two is to provide a legislative fix to ensure that CMS does not pick winners and losers via the mean or median scoring for the next three years. This will allow time to ensure that both CMS and physicians have greater time to prepare for this provision. Many of you are, by necessity, familiar with the 2015 law that finally repealed the Sustainable Growth Rate, or SGR. The passage of the Medicare Access and CHIP Reauthorization Act, or MACRA, was a bipartisan feat over a decade in the making. MACRA aims to move our health system away from the fee-for-service payment model and toward a system that rewards physicians for the quality of care that they provide. It streamlines existing reporting requirements such as the EHR Meaningful Use and the Physician Quality Reporting System into one new program called the Merit-Based Incentive Payment System, otherwise known as MIPS. MACRA also incentivizes the development of Alternative Payment Models, or APMs, and preserves the 10 and 90 day global surgical payment structure, another win for the SDS advocacy efforts over the past few years. SDS was proud to have a hand in drafting language in the bill pertaining to database access to Medicare claims data, but that's a story for a different fly in. Like all legislation, MACRA isn't perfect, and we are beginning to see that the seemingly small aspects of this massive overhaul of healthcare reimbursement policy may lead to unintended consequences. Therefore, we are asking Congress to address two issues within MACRA, the overall weight of the resource use category and the mean or median scoring within MIPS. This is how the Merit Base Incentive Payment System, or MIPS, works. Following the eligible clinicians reporting during the 2017 performance period, CMS will begin MIPS payment adjustments on January 1, 2019. Under MIPS, the HHS secretary must develop a methodology to assess the eligible practitioner's performance and determine a composite performance score. Features of PQRS, the value modifier and the EHR meaningful use programs are included in MIPS. The score is used to determine and apply a MIPS payment adjustment factor for 2019 onward. The adjustment can be positive, negative, or zero. Beginning in 2019, MACRA statute requires CMS to use a mean or median performance threshold score to determine these payment adjustments. On October 14, 2016, CMS released the final rule on the Quality Payment Program outlining the Merit Based Incentive Payment Program known as MIPS and the Advanced Alternative Payment Models known as APMs. In the first two years of the MIPS program, while awaiting the development of more resource use measures, CMS was permitted to weigh the resource use component at not more than 10% for the first year and not more than 15% for the second year. Given the state of readiness of resource use measures, CMS used this flexibility in the final rule for 2017 and weighted this component at 0%. For 2018, CMS has again proposed to weight this component at 0%. The 0% weight allows this category to be a non-factor in a physician's overall score in the 2017 and 2018 performance years. However, in 2019, this changes. The MACRA statute states that the resource use category must jump to 30% in 2019. Counting resource use measures for a full 30% of their performance score regardless of the readiness of those measures or the applicability to a particular practice is unreasonable. This drastic increase in the weight of resource use on the overall MIPS composite score 
will negatively impact physicians who are still familiarizing themselves with the complex MIPS program. We believe that CMS will be more successful in achieving Congress's intent to focus the payment system on improving quality and value if CMS is allowed greater flexibility in the weight distribution of the MIPS performance categories. Therefore, we encourage Congress to draft legislative language to amend the MACRA statute to allow the HHS Secretary greater flexibility to score the resource use category up to 30%. Our second ask pertains to Section 1848Q60 of MACRA that calls for the Secretary of HHS to select a mean or median score that will dictate the winners and losers within the MIPS program. Eligible clinicians who score above this line receive a bonus payment, while those eligible clinicians that score below the mean or median threshold will receive a penalty in their Medicare reimbursements in 2019. It is important to note that MIPS payments distributed in 2019 are based on eligible clinicians' performance during the 2017 performance period. STS, along with our Medical Specialty Association colleagues, believes that setting the mean or median threshold in 2019 is not appropriate as the physician community continues to understand the intricacies of the MIPS program. We believe that gradually increasing the performance threshold gives the physicians the opportunity to implement necessary practice changes as they gain experience within the program. It also ensures that the performance threshold is not set too high, which could discourage participation or negatively impact practices with fewer resources. We encourage Congress to draft legislative language to provide the HHS Secretary with greater flexibility and allow CMS to continue to set the performance threshold that is in step with implementation readiness for the next three years to ensure that CMS and the physician community are both ready for the transition to the mean or median threshold scoring. While these asks seem small within the massive macro legislation, the impact of these provisions will greatly affect you and your practice. As we all know, the MIPS program is complex. Physicians, practice managers, and our health systems are still trying to completely understand the nuances and intricacies of this new quality payment program. Without these fixes, we must perform within a program that we are still familiarizing ourselves with. Without these fixes, we face uncertainty in our future Medicare reimbursement. Therefore, we urge Congress to draft legislative language to do two things. Number one, amend the MACRA statute to allow the HHS Secretary greater flexibility to score the resource use category up to 30%. And number two, amend MACRA to allow CMS to continue to set the performance threshold that is in step with implementation readiness for the next three years.